Agency cited overwhelming evidence that he was involved in a doping program, charges he has repeatedly denied. But the New York Times reports that Armstrong is actually thinking about confessing. Is he finally going to come clean? Well, joining me now is SportsIllustrated.com legal analyst Michael McCain. And thank you very much for being with us. Let me ask you, um, after so many denials, and we have heard them over and over and over, um, do you really think that Lance Armstrong now is about to confess something? Well, Martin, I think it's, a, it's an interesting question, and it's a big risk for him to do so, both on a public relations level and on a legal level. On a public relations le level, if he admits that he engaged in doping, he would need to give a reason why. Would it be that everyone else was doing it? How would the American public re react to that? Or would it be that he felt the need to do so because in the recovery of cancer, this was the only way he could get back to the way he was? Well, again, there may be some sympathy, but I suspect there will be a huge backlash against him if he now admits what he's been denying for years. Then there's the legal issue. Could he be charged with perjury because the New York Times reports that he's given sworn testimony saying he never doped? He could say, well, maybe the Justice Department will agree not to indict me, but the problem there is why wouldn't they? What's in it for them to not pursue him if, in fact, he did perjure himself? And then there are civil claims that he's facing where he may have to pay millions of dollars in damages because, again, he would admit to things that he said he hasn't done. It's a very complicated situation, and it would be a very risky maneuver. Right. Um, we should point out that the attorney that represents Lance Armstrong has said emphatically that there are no discussions of the nature of which we're kind of discussing here. In other words, that, that Lance is going to somehow make a confession. But you know, the thought of this is, is very enticing to many people, because I think until he says something publicly... Um, that we're all, there always will be doubters, won't there, don't you think? Oh, absolutely, Martin. I think you know, we've seen other celebrities and athletes alleged to have done wrong things, and there are always people who will stand by them. There were people who stood by Pete Rose for many years, although he ultimately admitted that he did engage in some of the gambling activities that baseball alleged of him. But I think there will always be supporters. But if Lance Armstrong comes out and says, you know what? I actually was doping, I was doing all of these things, I, I, it would be pretty disastrous for his reputation. Now, maybe that's the first step in a healing process, both internally in his own mind and also publicly. And at 41, he has many years to go, and he certainly could, could recover rep, so part of his reputation, but I think the damage would be pretty substantial. And that was my next question for you. What would possibly be the upside, the motivation, if he were to make such a confession? Well, Juan Martin, I think, would be a clean slate, that his conscience would be relieved of a burden that the New York Times suggests that he has in terms of he's thinking about admitting to, to doing things that he's said he's never done. Uh, also, he wants to get back and compete. He wants to compete in triathlons. He wants to compete in running events. The lifetime ban prohibits him from doing so, at least most of the major tournaments. He isn't able to do so. And also, he has to be thinking about the long-term strategy. Does he always want to have a cloud over his head? and allegations that he did something, and always to insist that he didn't do it, if in fact he did, I imagine that would be a, a source of stress for anyone. Mm -hmm. And real quick before I let you go, what do you think the impact would be on his Livestrong organization, you know, that, that is a, a focus of so much good? Well, Martin, I think whatever happens, I hope people continue to support that organization, that we, we separate that organization from whatever allegations have been made against Armstrong. It's a crucial... Uh, organization for finding out ways of curing cancer and other terrible diseases. I think it would probably help on some level because, again, it would provide that clean slate. But it's crucial that we separate the two, organi the two entities. Michael McCann, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Martin.